I had one of the first Vespa scooters, and when I was 17, a boyfriend and I went to the opera at Glyndebourne in full evening dress. My grandfather actually made my mum and her sister's cars from a sort of kit. He put them together himself. Dad didn't buy his first car till about 1957. It was a Morris Minor van, converted with seats in the back. It was the only car he ever had. With a crank handle for the car. Cars always needed to be worked on. You were always in a lay-by surrounded by steam. And then you had to call out the AA. The AA? Automobile Association. Do you remember Austin Sevens? We had a black one. It was my father's first car. Humber Super Snoops. Austin A90s. I remember my parents having an Austin 7 where the driver's door was literally tied on with rope. The driver had to get out the passenger side. And at that time, all the AM men would salute you. If you could get one, there were no mobiles, so first you had to find a phone. I don't believe you didn't have mobiles. You'll be telling me that you didn't have TV next. We, we did! did. Only a few people had TV in the early 50s. Small sets with small 12 or 14 inch screens and not very good reception. Only BBC, of course. I think my parents bought a TV for the coronation. They were the first in Air Road to have one, so we could watch the coronation in the comfort of their own home. Although the picture wasn't particularly good. I went to the coronation. I walked to Westminster and slept on the pavement overnight. And we had to walk home afterwards because the trains couldn't cope with the crowds. I did that too. Didn't it pour with rain? Yeah, it did. Terrible. <laughs> A newspaper seller there gave me all his newspapers and I ended up giving them out free to everyone in Green Park, shouting the headline which was, Hillary climbs Everest. 